Hi, my name is Julie Machado and I play the bass. Welcome to Case Files. I want to tell you everything that's in my case. I'm going to talk about the instrument, how it makes it sound, and some interesting facts. Let's take a look. Are you ready? This is the bow pocket. And in here, I have a bow case. I have a pencil to write lightly on my music. And I have an eraser to gently erase it when I'm done for when I return it. And I have earplugs in case I have to sit in front of those pesky trumpets and trombones. This is my accessory case. I have shoes. You want to make sure you have your nice black shoes. Here's a rock stop and a crutch tip. And I use those so my bass doesn't slide out from under me when I'm playing. I have a tuner. This is an electronic tuner. Some people use tuning forks. Rosin and a rag. I have a couple of clothes pins. In the back, I have a pocket to hold my music. Okay, let's unpack this puppy. I'd like to introduce you to my bass. This is Miss Sunshine. She was handmade in Brazil in 2006, which is not that long ago because some basses are hundreds of years old. This is my bow. Bass players use French bows and German bows. This is a French bow and you hold it like a violinist would. This portion is the frog. It's haired with horsetail and you can get horsetail in white, black, or salt and pepper. Bass players often use salt and pepper or black. This is the tip of the bow. It's where the cork goes in and holds the hair. I'm gonna put it away in my bow quiver. This is a scroll on a bass. This is where the strings end up to the tuning pegs. I have five tuning pegs on Miss Sunshine because she's a five string bass. This is the fingerboard. The strings come down the fingerboard to the bridge and then attach at the tailpiece. The tailpiece then connects down to the end pin. This is a really big instrument. The bigger the instrument, the lower the sound. Basses are not in the violin family. Basses are in the viola da gamba family, which is a much older string instrument family. In the violin family, the shoulders on the instruments are rounded, and in the viola da gamba family, they are sloped. In the violin family, they're tuned in fifths. The viol family, they're tuned in fourths. The bass has sloping shoulders and is tuned in fourths, which makes it a viol instrument. This sunshine is special because she has five strings. We have G, D, A, E, and then Miss Sunshine has B. So how does this work? The G string is the thinnest string on a bass, and it has the highest pitch. On a bass, the lowest, thickest strings are an E and a B. Also, you can make the sound which comes from bowing or plucking your instrument. It comes down to the bridge, goes inside where there's a sound post, and the sound mixes up inside and then comes out these F-shaped holes. My bass has a pickup on it. Pickup is like a microphone, only it doesn't pick up sound waves. It picks up vibrations. And the vibrations come through and you can plug it into an amplifier. When I want to change the pitch on a string, I put my finger down. This changes the string and make it shorter. The shorter string vibrates at a higher level and makes a higher pitch. There are two ways, usually, to make a sound come out of a string instrument. One is pizzicato, which is plucking the strings. Here's an example using pizzicato and my lower string. Here's an example of bowing. When you take your bow and draw it across the string, the rosin on your bow and the hair makes your string vibrate. Because Miss Sunshine was made in Brazil, I've chosen a piece by Gabriel Marie called La Cincantan. Mm -hmm. 
This is from a musical I'm playing, and you can see that it's in bass clef. Basses sometimes play in tenor clef and treble clef, depending on how high the music goes. These are humidifiers. They're giant size because it's for a bass. I put these in my instrument. I get them damp, and I put them in here, and the moisture keeps the bass from cracking. That's really important in Nevada, where it's very dry. Thanks for watching Case Files from the Reno Phil.